What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be checking out a game called Dismantle. A zombie apocalypse survival game where they've actually just given me an alpha build. So I was really, really excited about this one. I think I've had it up on my wish list for a while. I maintain a pretty extensive wish list on Steam. And so anyways, out of the 100 or 200 games that I have on there, this one is actually one of the oldest ones that I wishlisted probably years and years ago when it was first announced. And it's here now. God, how time flies. So, let's dive on in. Let's see if we can survive the zombie apocalypse wasteland. We'll take a look at the game and see if it's something you wanted to add to your wish list or pass on. If after watching this you wanted to get the game for yourself, I'll link for you down below next to my Discord link and also my Twitch stream link. Let's go. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Everyone will be provided a safe transit as soon as possible. We all do what we must just to survive. Just to exist. When our society started to collapse, I was prepared. My underground shelter was filled with food and supplies. But that was years ago. Nothing's left now. Not even the placeholder images are left. Surface, That's how bad the post-apocalypse is, dude! All we, all we have left is robot voice and placeholder images of gray squares. I need to get there. I need to escape this wretched island. Okay, well let's escape this wretched island. I'm about it, dude. I'm ready. Like, I always enjoy games like How to Survive and what. Oh, that's actually pretty pleasant looking. I haven't had a chance to take a look at any of the graphics or anything, but it actually looks pretty good. It's got sort of like a like a grounded kind of rare, you know, it, it's got a high budget feel to it almost with regards to like the coloration and the palette that they're using. Run animation isn't too bad either. I mean, it looks pretty good. Apparently it's mine now. Do I break this right? I'm gonna break this. Oh, never mind. Apparently I gotta upgrade my damage to 12. Oh, I can break this though. Yeah, take that Weber. That's what you get. That's what you get. Nary again shall ye barbecue in the sweet and pleasant lands of yesteryear. Is that even a word? Yesteryear? I don't know. I'm gonna say yesteryear from now on. I'm gonna treat it like truthiness. It's gonna be a word that if I use it enough, it'll become real. And what is this? Do I can light a fire? Does it cost me anything to light a fire? Oh, nice. What does camping do? So I can upgrade my gear. It looks like I can upgrade my crowbar, but I need scrap metal and wood. It looks like if I have plant matter and sca uh, scrap fabric, I can upgrade my backpack. Okay. I wonder if this is just like a res point or whatever where you come back. It, it threw my scrap metal into there, so I think that might be how we kind of like bank the objects that we're finding out here in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I can break the trees. Is that where plant matter comes from? Yeah, let me get that plant matter. Let's go. Oh, we get XP for this too. My crowbar is not going to break, is it? Like, I hate it when games have weapons that break, dude. Like, I love Dying Light, but that was one of my fundamental arguments with that game, is it just bugged me how frequently my weapons broke. So, like, if you had a favorite weapon that you were just in love with, like, it, 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 was, it was horrible to use it because you were watching its beautiful little life meter go down moment by moment and, and just, like, punishing you for respecting efficacy, you know? Ooh, there's lumber over here, too. Might be able to do something with all this. Doesn't look like we have stamina or anything else to worry about. I assume that they made this roadblock over here just to kind of teach us that, like, hey, there's destructibles in the environment and you can get rid of them. Uh, let's go ahead and camp right here. We'll bank all this stuff. I don't think that we have the ability to upgrade anything just yet, but we'll get there. We'll pick it up. We'll just kind of keep a weather eye out and, and see if we can find anything that's looking sexy along the way. What does this say? Uh, upgrade the crowbar tool and you can break through obstacles. You're gonna need scrap metal and you're gonna need wood. Upgrade the crowbar at the camp and destroy the dresser obstacle. Alright, we got this. We got scrap metal out of this barbecue last time, so I'll virtually guarantee you that that's what we're gonna get our hands on now. Uh, I think we needed like two or three. Oh, we gotta upgrade that over there. Gotcha. All right. Well, there's a little bit more wood. I don't. I have the five wood and I have the two. Oh, nice, dude. Okay, never mind then. I am not doing a great job of keeping track or keeping count of what I have in my backpack, but it looks like we have a crowbar upgrade. So there you go. Oh, I gotta hold it down. Kind of a satisfying little animation. I do really, really like advanced animations. Like, well, that kind of advanced. I, I like interactive. That's the word that I'm looking for. I like interactive confirmation animations in games. So, like, when you click on it and it just fills in the pip and there's no, like, sound effect other than, like, a click or, like, a boop or something like that. I don't know, dude. It's disappointing. I definitely like it when, like, the materials fly around a little bit. Maybe there's some light 
you know, lighting effects or something that are applied, a meter that fills up. So I'm glad to see that right there. It's those little things, I think, that help sell a game. And you'll hear me use that phrase all the time, but that's because I believe it's like abundantly true. It's the little details that sell a game. I do want this metal. Chances are we're probably going to need more of it this time. Okay, I can't break that giant tire. Gotcha. We had one of those when I was a kid. I used to, when I was like in kindergarten, they had a big monster truck tire like that that was out in the middle of like the little play area or whatever. I remember there was like a stack of them. There was like four or five. And if you got all the kids together, you could stack them up like three high and then climb up on top of it and drop down inside the little, you know, middle part and like hide in there like a little bunker. All right. And claim our reward right there. A little bit of XP added on in. I assume that, oh, we got ceramics. That's pretty cool. Can't break that. I can break all of this plant matter, though, which is good because, like, our backpack size right now is actually not altogether that great. And so I, I do think that maybe finding some of the cloth and, and finding some of the plant matter in order to upgrade the backpack might be a really, really good idea. I do like the stacking system right here, so I actually think that's kind of an elegant solution. Like, it's always a little bit immersion breaking for me when there's, like, an X5 or, like, an X6 for what it's stacked up to. I kind of like the pips right there. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen a game do that before for stacking of items, but, like, it kind of works for me. I kind of like... Oh, we can listen to the radio, too? All right, well, let me grab that last piece of wood. I got to drop this stuff off and bank it, though, back at the bunker because we don't really have a lot of inventory space to go around right now. Plus, we get free XP for every single thing we put inside the home shelter, so, like, we just got to find two fabric now. We need plastics to make our crowbar better as well. It'd be cool if the graphic for the crowbar and the backpack and everything else upgraded a little bit as you went on. That's a big crowbar, though. I don't know if I've ever seen a crowbar that big. All working evacuation transports are outbound. Please keep calm and wait for the maintenance. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. I'm willing to bet that we don't need too much more plant matter for right now. I'll kind of worry about it later. Oh, we can cook stuff right there. Nice. Looks like we've also got searching spots. Oh, nice. A tomato, dude. I assume that, that probably... I don't see... So I don't see like a hunger meter or like a water meter anywhere. So my guess is that that's more than likely going to be used to refill our health. We can hold down the mouse wheel and drag to move the camera around. Oh, that's not too terrible. I prefer it be on the right click, but I don't know. Maybe we take a look. Can we rebind that? Is that possible? Let's take a look at the system menus real fast. It is. It's all rebindable. So there you go. If you have a preference, you can take care of that like right away. Hey, fabric. That was definitely what we needed. If I break that down, can I get into the medicine cabinet over here? I cannot. Okay. Well, we got to break these chairs and we'll see if we can make it to like a new campfire or something on the opposite end. We are getting a decent amount of XP right now, but it does seem like it takes you a considerable number of them to actually level up. Apparently it's an ex-human scrapper. It looks like she's got a pair of scissors or, or like a really, really violent mathematical compass right there. I'm not really sure which it is. We'll give it a go though. Oh, I do have a dodge. That's pretty sweet. Okay. So we can kind of just like roll. Oh, we got the fabric. We got the fabric. Hold down that to strike with power. Okay, there's a power hit. Nice. Okay, so we can hit him with that big blow if we need to. What does this say? Western gate, eastern gate. Okay. I should go east, but it might make sense to explore a little first. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. For the memory of the native inhabitants of the island, original artifacts as discovered in 1917. We need a basic lock pick in order to get inside of there. Can we chop down trees? No. What does the signpost say? Pizza. Eat it. That's a that's a sales tactic right there. All right? That's a sales tactic right there. You don't give them any wiggle room. You don't give them any option. You say, listen, bitch, this is pizza. Eat it. That's a strong play, dude. I respect it. I respect the gumption of it. All right? I'd be, if somebody if somebody faced me with that particular command, I'd be like, well, I guess I'm eating pizza. Then. I don't really know how to counter this. Hey, we got the plastics. Nice, man. We're going to need that for... Uh... Oh, my bags are full. Damn. Okay. Yeah, let's go upgrade the backpack real fast. We have all the bits and pieces to it, so I don't see any reason not to. Nice. So apparently it gave me one new slot and it added a pip to every pre-existing slot. So now we can stack to fives and we've got an extra space. Sweet. All right. 
I actually, it's kind of it. Oh, the monsters come back sort of Dark Souls style. I think I can just walk backwards and hit this lady. Yeah, I don't actually think that I need to like do anything right there. I could probably just backpedal and take care of business. We needed plastic right here for our... I can't get into that trash can right there, but I can get these barrels. Is there any way that I can hit both of them at the same time? No, it actually looks like it isolates where the damage goes based on what you're actively clicking. Uh, so I think you can only really interact with one hitbox at a time. There's not going to be any major cleaving or anything else like that. I am curious to see the way that the RPG mechanics, like the leveling up, are going to interact with the rest of the game. But for now, we'll just look around for goodies. Oh, there's another lady over here. Yeah, there we I probably should have heavy bloated her. Okay. All right. The heavy blow takes less time. Ooh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Back up off me. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Down you go. Now, you know, that reference isn't nearly as, as, as pertinent as it used to be. I really should update it. I need to get something more modern. All right. So we got a little bit of plastic right there. Sounds good. We got some searchy spots. Let's go for it. Uh, we got a tomato. I thought I saw another searchy spot light up over here. Oh, no. It's just a cooking spot. Okay. Can I break up the TV just yet? I cannot. All right. I could break up the chairs. A little bit more cloth. Okay. A little bit more cloth right there, too. We can't break down the bed just yet. I don't know if I can get the ceramics out of this tub. Doesn't look like I can get the ceramics out of the tub just yet. Maybe someday, though. I don't recall what the next upgrade to my crowbar was actively going to cost me. What is that? Just plastics? Okay, so it's just like a cooler or something. Oh, nice. We can break down the, the laundry line. My grandmama had one of those laundry lines. I haven't seen one of those in a really, really long time. I'll be honest with you. Like, my grandma had one of those ones in her backyard when I was a kid. And honestly, I completely forgotten about it until I saw it actively in play, like, inside the confines of this game. And I was like, oh, yeah, those were a thing. It was like, a, it was like an unfolding umbrella that you would hang your laundry on if you didn't have a dryer. Back when I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. How are we looking on the upgrade for the crowbar? So we need five more scrap metal and we need like 11 more wood. So I think wood is going to be the principal acquisition there. But I am excited about kind of the, the upgrade gameplay loop. Like it, it feels nice. Like I actually I like the way the inventory is managed in this game. Kind of dodge backwards real quick. All right, so she's down. I actually don't really want the cloth just yet. I don't think it's going to be that helpful. However, if I can wipe out a couple of these dudes. Oops, took a hit right there. It looks like my health doesn't actually come back when I camp. So that'll be an interesting consideration to think about. Really, I just want to bring back plastics and scrap. Is there any type of map, by the way? Luckily, we don't have a lot of HP, but that's not the luckily part. The luckily part comes next in the second half of the sentence. So anyways, we don't have a lot of HP, but luckily the enemies seem to be pretty easy to avoid, and they don't seem to be that spry. I am hoping we get some gunplay in here. Like, I would love to do some shooties and some bang bangs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so maybe that there's wait there's a Stonehenge over here. Why is there a Stonehenge in the middle of a public park? Is that gonna be like a teleporter maybe that moves you around the island a little bit faster? I bet you that's what it's gonna do. All right, so to the west, we don't actually have a whole lot to play around with. It looks like the the road is very much barred and not available for our access. All right, couple more of them down. Maybe we can make bandages or something out of. You know, all these little, what is that, scrap metal? Yeah, we're taking it out of the power transformer or whatever the hell that is at the end of the street. I can break this up too right here. It does look like they're aware of me on the opposite side of the fence. Whether or not they could actively get to me, I couldn't tell you. I'm not going to worry about it too much. All right, well, let's get moving. Let's take a look around and see what we got going on here. And they said to go to the east, so I, I suppose we should probably follow that. Yeah, I already knew about the running. We got that covered. I am a running fool out here. Just big old trash bags full of milk. Oh, nice, dude. We got another campfire over here. Apparently, we can come back over here and invent new recipes now. It's weird that people just have campfires in their front yards. One would think that that'd be some kind of violation with the fire marshal. So we leveled up. We got Inventor 1, so we can invent and we can craft items at campfires. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. All right. 
Now, what do we have over here? It's a cooking pot. That side, we have throwing knives. Oh, so maybe I have to craft it for the first time before I can actually make it? I do like the ability to track some of the things that you're after. Oh, we've got different armored outfits and stuff up there, too. Uh, we also have amber pills. They're state-issue pills used in situations where there's no other way out. Okay, so they're like suicide pills. Gotcha. We don't have enough ceramics for the cooking pot. Let's just run around for a little bit. Like, I don't really... I mean, I guess I could, but it's so expensive. There goes all my stuff from my crowbar. The crafted item has a limited number of uses. The uses are automatically replenished when you come back to a campfire. Okay. Good to know. How do I equip those? Oh, they're on my right click. So that explains why we can't use the right click to move the camera around. All right, so basic equipment is needed to even have a chance of survival. We've got to find a map of the Link Tower, upgrade our backpack, and then level up. I've already upgraded my backpack, but it looks like it wants me to do level two. Oh, dude, those are dirty. That did so much more damage than I expected. Uh, we've got a crafting recipe over here, some tomato soup. Nice. Couple more tomatoes to go along with it. I'm not a big tomato guy. I do like tomato soup. I'll be honest about tomato soup. I do like it. Oh, it's a window. It looked like there was a door there for a second. All right. Some more plastics and whatnot to replace what we done lost. Doesn't look like I can really do a whole lot right there. We might be able to search that, possibly. Got lots of cloth, that's for sure. It'd be cool if when you open the door, this stuff was like, and it kind of like broke down uh, just because it's like occupying the same tile. Anything in the doghouse? Oh no. I don't, th I don't think the dogs made it in the post-apocalypse, dude. In all reality, do we even want to continue living in a world like, do we even want to struggle to survive in a world where dogs are, are no longer in play? You know what I mean? Like, I'm kind of thinking that, like, for me, that'd be, like, a hard no. Like, I hope whatever the crisis is gets me, if it's also going to get dogs. It's just my, it's just my initial thought. I really, really like throwing, throwing knives at things. Even though it shows right here, it's like a literal, like, Bowie knife. It's like a big old drop point hunter. But apparently, we're the master of throwing it, so never let it be forgotten. I wonder if it does the same amount from the front. No, it doesn't. It actually does 40 from the front, which is still enough to, like, one shot and take the damn thing out. But I'm going to let this guy come investigate. He can do what he's going to do. I'm going to search this car. What do we have in there? A little bit of scrap. Definitely take that. I'm going to have to fall back to the campfire, though, pretty soon. So I've got to go to the evacuation site. The evacuation site. Okay, and then we've got to get a map at the Link Tower. I don't know where the Link Tower is at. I haven't lost any health, so I'm just going to store my stuff. All right, so out this way, I don't think there's anything I... Can I break that big spool right there? Dude, there's nothing more... Oh, this is a link tower. Okay, and what's that? It's going to, like, open up a map or something for me. Oh, Jesus. That's a bigger world than I expected. That's a really, really big map. Oh, my. Okay, well, there's more link towers. There's one straight to the north. Uh, I can open the east gate or I can open the west gate. I guess we'll open the east gate. Oh, what is that thing? Okay, so we got to kill that thing. I think west looks safer. That's just me. Like, I don't know everything about survival. But I, but I do know that one of those gates looks a whole lot less gnarly than the other gates. Yeah, this game's kind of curious. It's got kind of like a last day on Earth feel to it. If you've ever played that before, it's kind of like a gotcha game on your phone. But anyways, it's not that, though. Like It's got like the same kind of core gameplay ideas with like an open world. And at the same time, though, it's like a project that you actively like, eh, bye, there we go. I actually probably should have stopped off... Yeah, I probably should have stopped off at the campfire just to restore my knives. I totally forgot that that was a thing that was sort of, like, linked. There we go. Can I break these benches? No. Okay. 
Well, I need to find like much better supplies of wood. I, I do think that some of these objects should break down a little bit faster. Uh, it probably shouldn't take you more than like two or three swings in order to harvest anything. I'm okay with having like the damage cap that's like, hey, if you can't deal 10 damage or 12 damage or 18 damage, you're not going to be able to access this resource. But once you're able to access that resource, I do think it should only take you like a swipe or two. Like it really shouldn't take like eight swings, you know. Uh, it's going to turn in like I can see that becoming tedious over like the the long term of play where I, I guess it I, since it's since the since the damage is based on your weapon, maybe it won't like maybe as your damage gets higher and higher, you'll finally like earn the right to like two and three swipe resources still I think is a quality of life issue that should be like front and center is like if you have the damage, it goes down to like three swings. Is that plastic? It's got to be plastic, right? Yeah, plastics. Everybody loves manufactured plastics. All right, throw all that stuff in there. I'm going to stop at the fire to get my knives back because I'm curious to see how close I am to some of these projects. So I need three more scrap metal and seven more wood to upgrade that. Our knives can also be upgraded, so that's really, really rad. Excited to see that. What does this inventory thing do over here? Oh, so we have different clothings for different weathers. So apparently, like, the actual active temperature at a given time is going to become pertinent later on in the game. I can't imagine why they would mention that on the inventory screen unless later on down the line you're, like, absolutely going to have to have certain clothing for certain zones. That is actually one thing that I really liked about Breath of the Wild when I played it is that I liked that there were certain suits of clothing that you had to wear for certain zones. Otherwise, like, you were just ill-prepared. Uh, hey, what's up? I don't want to use my knives on you. Do I have to clear the threats from the other side? It's a valid question, I think. There you go, mushroom monster. Have a nice nap. So I can't loot that again. But it does look like I can go out this way and explore a little bit. So there's a zombie back here. We'll go ahead and deck him up real fast. Can't wait for a damage upgrade. Let me tell you what, like Simba couldn't wait to be king. I can't wait for a damage upgrade. We'll say that the combat feels okay. Like the combat feels right. Like it feels like the crowbar strikes precisely where you want it to. Who's like got a giant collection of Webbers over here? Somebody's just like, listen, I'm just a grilling enthusiast, okay? I can't help the fact that I love grills. I just love them. I just, I, I keep grills around. Ever since I was like 12 or 13, I just really, really like grills. I just can't seem to help myself. Hey, hey, that's enough from you. Relax. It doesn't have to be like this. We could be friends. I don't think she wanted to be friends. I think she wanted to be enemies. Uh, where's that big dude that was down here? We've already looted that house. So the east gate, it said that there was a big dude over here. I'm gonna... Aw, oh, dude! I wasted my knife. It's kind of a bummer. I wasn't planning on wasting a knife. I do like that the knives are finite and that you have to, like, fall back and repopulate the map in order to get them returned. It makes you really kind of, like, have to think about whether or not you want to use a knife for a particular situation or if you just want to keep on trucking and just fight them sort of the man- Hey, 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 I'm trying to find, like, that sweet spot where I can stand in place and just kind of dance back and forth by, like, Ow! I can throw stuff too, jerk! Ah! I'm just gonna like dodge a lot. Oh, he's gonna backpedal. Oh, he's got a melee too. All right, you go down. Apparently that's an ex-human hurler. All right, fair enough. Kind of wonder if there's gonna be like new, oh, I need lock picks in order to get up in there. Okay, can I break down any of this stuff? Because I am in desperate need of like, I need lots and lots of wood. Like that's like the one resource that I can't do without right now. I wonder if, like, I bet you you get more charges to your knife and stuff, too, once you upgrade it. So it's going to give it a damage increase, and I bet you it's going to give you, like, one extra knife every single time that you upgrade it until you have, like, eight or nine of them. There we go. All right, inventory's full up. I'm going to go drop this stuff off back at base. I'm out of knives, which I'm not super enthusiastic about. I definitely wish that, like, I would. Where are all these armoires coming from, dude? Like, there's armoires everywhere. I don't even have an armoire. There we go. Fill her up. And then let's carry on out this way and just kind of see. I want to see if I can get this gate open. That's what I really want to do. 
bunch of resources over here if you got the patience to go ahead and sit around and smack on them. Uh, there's explosive barrels right there that I assume we maybe have to light off with a throwing knife. But I'm not positive. I mean, I'm going to try and just hit it with a crowbar and see what happens. And I virtually guarantee you that this is going to that's going to lead to my horribly violent death. Oh no, you get like a little timer. You're okay. That actually felt like a much more efficient way to pull resources out of this entire area. What's in this cardboard box right here? Also, like, what do cardboard boxes give you? In terms of resources. Fabric. Okay. Oh, fabric and plastic. That's nice. It must be one of those fancy Amazon boxes that's got, like, the plastic liner on the inside of, like, the little tubes. I need lock picks to get in there. Still kind of on the prowl for wood. Actually, I also need plant materials, so maybe I'll grab that, too. We hit level three, which is a thing. I actually really like the push and pull that they've got going here with the campfires. Uh, I think that's a compelling idea is like, do I want to rest right now and get my HP back? I mean, it was originally positive. I mean, it's nothing that you haven't seen before. Obviously, like that's a, a Dark Souls mechanic. But at the same time, I very much like that they've separated inventory management and storage from the campfire. So like, if you want, you can keep on sort of like trying your luck out there in the wilds. And, like, in so doing, you don't reset all of the monsters and all the creepers and all the things that are around. And you kind of buy yourself a little bit of breathing room to just scavenge. Like, likewise, if you use up all your knives super early like I did, what does this do? Invent a cooking pot, make any recipe, and then craft throwing knives. Okay. Just gonna throw all the- oh, we have enough for the backpack upgrade. Considering how frequently I have to come back and drop off my resources, I'm gonna say that focusing on that for right now is a really, really good plan. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I do wish that the items sucked in from a little bit further away. Like if they increase that radius, maybe by just like a meter or two, it would feel a lot less like I need to spend my time like walking over the top of resource piles. There we go, knock her out real quick, and we have enough for the backpack upgrade. Perfect. All right, let's get up in here. And with the backpack upgrade. Oh, cool. We get a skill. We can get HP. We can start gathering bird eggs, mushrooms, and other useful resources that are found in the wilderness. Or we can get a bonus to XP. I think that one right there. That sounds good. It brings in more stuff. Nice. So we've got another slot. And we can stack to sevens now. So that's pretty, or stacked to sixes. That's still really, really good. That's like net like a really, really huge inventory increase. Come on, go down. I really don't want to fight this goo guy down here. These goo guys feel kind of dangerous to me. Ooh, got me, okay. Oh, they don't actually deal that much damage. There is no limit on whether or not you can kind of like dodge roll. You can basically just spam dodge roll all the time. They're worth a bunch of XP though, I guess. Can I break the clock? Oh no, that's just the stuff from the wall. Okay, what's inside of here? Fabric, that makes sense. Apparently the world, I don't know what the timeline is for this game, but apparently the world has been destroyed for a while because there is just ivy running amok right now. It is everywhere. It's like one of my long running jokes. Like I'm a runner. I don't know if you guys know that. I run about I run about 20 miles a week. So I run about 3 miles pretty much every day. Uh, I run like a 5k pretty much every day. I've been a big runner for a long time. I love running. It's like one of my favorite things in the whole world. And so anyways, one of my running jokes for years has been that I pray to a muck before I go on my runs. In my mind, a muck is like this esoteric god of just like runners in New Balance stability shoes. Really, really hoping that you don't like... That's who you pray to to make sure you don't poop yourself once you get past the 10-mile mark. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and grab this over here. But yeah, dismantle. I, I think the game is aptly named. We definitely spend a lot of time dismantling things. Uh, it sincerely does feel like it. Uh, I think the next thing we're going to go for is the crowbar upgrade. My main observation is that I think that breakdown should happen a little bit faster uh, on most of these objects. But it was like concrete bags. Yeah. 
I do think dismantling should really only take like one or two swings. Um, and they don't have cleaving, so that means you still have to directly interact with every single object you want to break down. But at the same time, it would speed up the process. That's after 30 minutes, really the only thing that I've noticed so far. Oh, I'm dead. I didn't realize my health was so low. That's my bad. That's my bad. Are we dead permanently? Oh, we go back to the campfire and we lose all our stuff. Okay, that's fine. I can live with that. At least we tested out what happens when you die. It's punishing, but it's not crazy punishing. I respect it. It makes you not want to die, but at the same time, if you do, it's not infuriating. Uh, I'll see y'all later. Thank you for being here. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of any games every single day, so you don't have to. Today up on the chopping block, we have the alpha for dismantle, which you can find down below in the description. I'll see y'all later. Thank you for stopping on in, and bye, everybody.